Hello, this is Mark Silverman again. Thank you so much for downloading the Victim Resentment Worksheet from the Only Tens Workbook. Really appreciate you going along on the journey. This one's a tough one. We like to hold on to our resentments. It really feels good sometimes to feel like a bit of a victim or the things that are not fair. The problem is letting go of our ownership, letting go of our agency in that fashion puts us in a position where we're powerless and we really can't do something about the situation. So this is a, a, a worksheet designed to help us get back to our ownership, back to agency, back to, back to being able to do something about a situation. So what I'd like you to do is take a moment and maybe list a couple of situations where you're whining a little bit. Uh, this person shouldn't have done that. I don't like that this is happening. This is unfair and really kind of figure out where in your life, where in your relationships, things are starting to make you feel a little small, like you can't do anything about it. It could be with your significant other. They act a certain way and it drives you crazy, but you've never said anything about it. Or you have a client who is overstepping their bounds. So take them a couple minutes and think about that. You can press pause, list those out. Then what I'd like you to do is take a moment, and this is where real uh, courage comes in. Think about how did you create this situation? How, through your actions, through your words, through training people on how to treat us, did you set this situation up? There's got to be something. There's a choice that you made. Did you not do the research before you bought something? How can you take responsibility, ownership, for why you're in this situation? Now, after you do that, if you can't figure out what you did to get here, then you need to take a moment and think about what's your attitude about this. So if someone's acting belligerent towards you and you've never met them before, you didn't create that. So what are you going to do about your attitude about that? Are you going to not, you know, so this is where we start to think about, are we going to say something? Are we going to stand up for ourselves? Are we going to allow them to vent and then say something? Uh, are we going to correct the situation? So the, you can you can either look at what happened up to this point, or you can look at what am I going to do in this situation? So then the next place is once you have ownership over a situation, once you know how to uh, you, you know that you had something to do with how things are, either by your actions, by your words, or by the attitude that you've taken, the victimhood attitude or the ownership attitude. What needs to happen? Do you need to take an action? Do you need to have a difficult conversation? Do you need to set a boundary? Do you need to make an ask? Once you've figured that out, put those in, what needs to occur? And really, that's from your gut. What needs to occur? Not she should be this way but I need to ask for this or I need to set this boundary. And then you get to choose. You don't have to do anything and you can adjust your attitude. You can adjust your attitude. You can just say, you know what? I'm, that's not worth the fight. But now you know that you're not a victim of this situation and it's much easier to let go of the resentment. As always, let me know how I can help. We can go deeper into this. This is a, this is a transformational worksheet for me. Uh, happy to help. Take care.